welcome back to my channel. I am here in beautiful Cabo San Lucas. We are on day three of our carnival cruise to the Mexican Riviera, and this is our first port of call. I'm so excited. This is my first time in Mexico. And so we are gonna get off the ship in a bit and get on one of the water taxis and head over to the pier where we're meeting up with our group. We're going on a really fun excursion today that Carnival offers. It's a luxury sail and snorkel day. So follow along if you want to see this awesome Carnival Cruise excursion and get an idea if this is the right excursion for you to try on your Mexican cruise with Carnival. So, before we get started, make sure that if you have not done so already, that you subscribe to be found it useful or entertaining to watch, and give this video a thumbs up, and let's go on our sailing and snorkeling adventure, shall we? If you haven't yet checked out my Carnival Panorama vlog, I will link it up here in the card so that you can do so. As I mentioned there, if you don't get your water taxi tickets early, then they start to run out. So we weren't able to leave as early as I would have liked, but it all worked out. And if you waited too long to book your excursions, there are plenty of guys on the shore ready to help you find something interesting to do. We got about an hour or so to kill before our excursion leaves. Okay, 45 minutes to this guy being very technical. So we're gonna have some margaritas, tequila while we leave. Cheers. <laughs> First margarita Mexico? Yeah. Delicioso. Is that, that's Spanish, right? Okay. So when you get off the water taxi in Cabo on the pier, everything, all the excursions meet right here. They have signs that are marked so you know where to go. I was freaking out at first. I was like, where are we gonna go? But it's all very clear. They, the sign says the name of your excursion. You sit there and you wait and check, you get checked in and then you go have a great time. So just so you guys know, it's really easy. They make it very simple. No fun. Let's make a line right here on the side, please. Oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's get the party started. Are you ready? Woo! Yeah. Bring it on. This excursion includes basically an open bar and your Captain is also your bartender and he does a great job keeping your drinks full. 
I wish I would have known that I didn't need to bring my fancy camera with me because this excursion includes a photographer who is there to take awesome photos of you throughout the day. However, note the pictures are not included in the price of your excursion, they are extra. Our first destination was the Arch, otherwise known as Land's End. This is an iconic, beautiful rock formation off the shore of Cabo, and it's a great place to get pictures. Unfortunately, the water was pretty rough that day, so we didn't get too many, but it was still amazing to see. Did I mention the water was rough? Okay, it really was. And this is something you can't really predict, obviously, because it's the ocean. So if you are a person who gets seasick, I would recommend bringing some Dramamine with you just in case. This is our, uh, this is our snack. Some wok, some chips, some salsa, some shrimp skewers. Salsa looks great. Yeah, yum. After a bit more sailing and nibbling on our snack, which you just saw, we stopped in this little cove for people to get out and snorkel if they wished. I chose to stay dry. Nice. Made it to this little <laughs> bay. It was a rough ride. So are you kind of celebrating your honeymoon? I mean, we're always celebrating our honeymoon, okay. you know? Absolutely! You know, give it a few years yeah. and then you can stop celebrating your honeymoon. Then that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, so you are decent. Congratulations to the bride and groom. Thank you. This is the lunch that is also included. It was delicious ceviche and melon and fresh bread and chips. So many good things. The food was actually really surprisingly good for being on a sailboat, I had to say. So we've been hanging out, eating, chilling for a little bit. Now it's time to go back. Hopefully it's a little bit smoother this time. You don't think so? Oh, uh, would be. Jeez, here we go. We'll find out. What, what, what? Where's the whale? I apologize for my terrible videography skills capturing that whale. It seemed a lot closer in real life than it does watching this footage. Didn't go on the whale watching excursion, but we still had a whale sighting, which is really freaking cool. On the way back in, we utilized the actual sails on our sailboat more, and it was really interesting to see how this works. This was my first time on a sailboat, but my husband used to sail when he was younger, so he definitely showed me a couple things. Once 
sailing thing I learned was to sit on the high side, which is the side that's slightly higher up in the water. So everyone goes and sort of puts their body weight on that side of the boat to even things out. But it's also a lot of fun to do and it's a beautiful way to watch the sunset. All right, so yes, the water was a bit rough that day. Yes, I would have preferred it to be calmer, but it was still an amazing, beautiful day out on the water and a great excursion in Cabo San Lucas. Ooh, gotta get back on. room my hair is absolutely freaking crazy from the boat but we had a really fun excursion I hope you all enjoyed following along and that was that was great it was a beautiful day on the water if you are on a carnival cruise and you're thinking of what excursion you might want to do the luxury uh, all-inclusive sail and snorkel is really fun so thank you so much for watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.